एवरीवन वेलकम टू वरना गार्डन आई एम वंदना दिस इज द नाइन्थ अपडेट ऑन द हाइबिस्क सीड लिंक्स अगेन नथिंग मच बट जस्ट गोन गिव यू व्हाट हैज बीन द स्टोरी सो फार वी हैव हैड अ कपल ऑफ बड ड्रॉप्स टू ऑफ देम एंड आफ्टर दैट नथिंग आई ट्रांसप्लांटेड ओनली दो सीडलिंग्स दैट आई नो बोथ पोलन एंड पॉट पेरेंट्स पुट देम इन अ बिगर पॉट and i wanted to experiment seeing that if transplanting them to a bigger pot would yield buds because i have like a control group and an experiment group control group are the ones that will be in the smaller pot experiment group will be the ones that are going to be transplanted when i transplanted the seedlings into slightly bigger pots i noticed root mealy bugs and in fact this has been a problem for all the pots all my seedlings over 120 of them are currently infested and i'm trying really literally breaking my head thinking how i could resolve them google search yielded me very horrifying results i saw that uh, when uh, professional greenhouses uh, come across this problem they just throw discard the plant and the soil because it's not worth it but i can't just discard them it's one years worth hard work so i'm trying googling a lot of ways to resolve this i tried again using de powder but uh, i didn't find that very effective next i bought a bio insecticide it's metarhizium anisopli it attacks the host bug so if the host is a mealy bug and comes in contact with the mealy bug gets inside the mealy bug and starts growing and finally destroys it i applied uh, the insecticide for all my plants prior to this i gave them a dose of uh, liquid seaweed fertilizer as well as npk and i'm now very sure that it's the root mealy bugs which are kind of draining away all the energy so i'm trying to treat that I asked a couple of experts out there on how this can be treated and one person suggested that to transplant all of them into better potting media by gently removing the soil from the roots wash the roots completely and transplant them I'm not an expert at this I'm scared of root shock and you know I might lose the seedling completely He then corrected me saying that root shock is not something that happens because you transplant it to another pot. It's because there's a difference in the pH value. When you transplant the seedlings into or when you transplant any plant and the soil pH does not match the existing soil's pH, then the plant goes into a shock because the roots are not able to absorb the nutrition the way it used to do earlier. That is why the plant wilts. and this is something that i learned and this is the reason why i'm toying with the idea of getting a ph meter it makes complete sense and i would definitely want to do this investment because 120 seedlings one year of uh, effort about uh, less than 1000 bucks i don't care investing uh, in one these are some of my alternatives my last resort is to use a chemical insecticide the challenge with the chemical one is it not only kills the a uh, pest it also kills beneficial microorganisms which i don't want to but uh, at towards the end if i have to measure the pros and cons i am going to save my seedling so i will use the insecticide my last last resort even if the insecticide fails the only thing that i have left is to take cuttings take cuttings root them either in water or in soil and then grow them again in completely fresh soil i'll be discarding all of these or i might uh, sterilize them you know heat them or just pour boiling water on them and uh, destroy all the bugs this is the rooting hormone that i have i got it from lal bag a couple of uh, months back i haven't used it worst case scenario i might have to use my hibiscus seed seedlings itself but i hope it doesn't come to that let's see that's it i'll uh, keep you all updated on what the progress uh, is and uh, hopefully by this year end i will be rewarded with some blooms at least at least one bud and i close this year with a bloom fingers crossed i hope that happens well that's it thank you for watching my video i'll see you in another one until then happy gardening bye